Here's my second test of the lip motion. Uh, instead of using Earth, uh, this time I'm using uh, the Moon. So again, I'm lowering my hand on top of uh, on top of the control. You can see I'm can I can slowly zoom in. As a one as a side note, I might want to mention that Google has added the Milky Way in the background and the position of the stars, and so perhaps this. Uh, uh, precludes to a full integration of Google Earth into Google Sky with a much more seamless integration than we have right now. So here we are on a high resolution version of uh, what I call the landing strip, which is this uh, high resolution swath across the moon. You can see Apollo 15. Um, we can actually zoom out a little bit more and take a look if we can find uh, other sites uh, of uh, landing, for example. Here's Apollo 17, for example. And obviously we can uh, we can zoom in on Apollo 17. You can see all the uh, uh, 3D images and the, all the images that Google has embedded inside the Apollo 17 uh, uh, landing site. And we can zoom in. The resolution is not that great here, actually. So maybe we can zoom a little bit out. Perhaps Apollo 11 will be a little bit better. Let's see if we can actually find uh, the Sea of Tranquility from here. Should be south of here. Here it is. Um, here it is. So here we zoom in on Apollo 11. Um, see if we can actually zoom in properly. I remember the lunar module was actually there. We have quite a high res. In that area, you see we can keep we keep zooming in. You see the craters, and you see a relatively flat area of uh, of the moon. And here is the landing rover, uh, the landing module. Again, we're gonna go even lower and take a look at uh, at the stars.